Sure, we're gonna beat the sun. <laughs> oh well, we've got some lights. We should be okay. So calm tonight. The sun's just gone behind that hill over there. So we're starting to get set up. There's the bike. All the bags. I'll probably do a like a packing list in the description and uh, maybe go through some of the the kit later. Unpacked everything, got changed. Exped pillow, extra um, sleeping pad, enlightened, enlightened equipment qu quilt, enlightened equipment quilt, and lots of room. Light up, just gonna sit and chill for a bit. Durston. XMID Pro 2 Plus. Canyon Grizzle. I've got Ortlieb uh, fork bags on the front. I don't know what top tube bag that is. Canyon, I think. AGU frame bag with uh, Isla's sticker on it, patch. Um, Revelate Design Spine Lock, 16 litre. It's massive, that thing. And then I just put on, I don't like a lot of stuff on the front there, but um, two stem bags, one for a beer or a bottle and one for the camera that I'm holding here to easy get it in and out. And then a little handlebar bag here you need a bit more a few more bags when it's colder for some extra layers nice just chilling out having a beer Enjoy the view, send a few messages, can't even see that, cheers. Morning, it got a bit chilly in the night, so I put all my clothes on, don't know what the temperature is, it's about 6 o'clock. Have a coffee and uh, get packed up. Bike still there. Morning bike. Professional tip: don't leave your coffee in your bag over there. Take it out and put it in your vestibule. Vestibule. Can't speak. Very lightweight alcohol stove set up, windscreen, tokes titanium pot. It's the lid from the from the stove. And then a little little container here for the alcohol. Coffee done. Get everything tidied up. And the sun's just coming up. Morning.
a bit chilly. Just looking for somewhere to drop this, this rubbish off. Nearly home, and if you made it this far, then uh, hold on a little bit longer, and I'll go through. Not now. I'm going to have a shower and everything maybe later in the day, but I'll go through all my equipment list and set up. See you in a bit. So we're a couple of days later after the trip and I thought I'd go through the uh, through the bike setup. Um, I had a few questions about how things are packed. So I thought I'd go f take off each bag and then put it over on that log over there. I don't know how this is going to work out, but we'll see as we go along. So this is the Revelate Designs Spine Lock. It's uh, 16 litres. The thing I love about this is it has this, um, this metal pin that goes through that keeps it very secure on the bike so no waggling there um, so let me just take that off and then I'll move over to the log and we can see what was what was packed inside so let's pack this unpack this see what was inside what's uh, what's pretty important is how you pack things um, you can end up with not enough space if you don't pack it right so I would test a few different ways what's pretty key is getting as much down there down to the bottom end next to the seat post and that part as, as solid as you can um, but here you go. so I had uh, a couple of meals a couple of dehydrated meals in the evening and breakfast I had a decathlon puffy that's the uh, the minus 10 version I would say it's good down to about freezing um, with a base layer underneath. Maybe a bit more if you've got a mid layer under there as well. Um, I had some camp shoes. So these are from Decathlon. I think they're called Aretha, Aretha or something. Um, basically just very lightweight um, shoes to wear around camp. I just got to make sure that I'm getting in front of the camera as well, sorry. But there you go. Um, if you're wearing, if you've got flat um, shoes or trainers and flat pedals, then obviously you can just wear them. I was wearing SPD boots, so I needed something. I didn't want to walk around in, uh, in those boots around the camp. So we've got uh, a tent. So this is the Durston. X Mid Pro 2 Plus. It's made out of Dyneema Cuban fiber. It weighs, I think it's like 650 grams or something ridiculously stupid, stupid light, very ultra light. There you go. Pretty small, packs up pretty small as well. Um, I've got a foam pad that I use to sit on um, to put things on when I'm unpacking, to lay on. Um, yeah, just uh, comes in handy. Some extra socks, alpaca wool socks. They came in handy because it got a bit colder than I thought it was going to be. Some uh, merino wool um, leggings because I changed out of my bike stuff and I wore these and some windproof, um, windproof trousers that are in another bag. And that's it. So that's the loadout for the 16 litre spine lock. So just to point out on this spine lock, there's like a, because um, it's a compression bag, but it's got like an air release valve here. So you open that, you can compress all the air out. 
and then lock that off so it keeps it all sealed and compressed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one-handed, but the, one of the things I like about this, uh, about these fork packs, is the quick release. Um, literally, you just pull this little switch here and pull the bag off. I mean, I know you can't see it. Sorry. I'll see if I can put in a, a demonstration, and they just clip back onto that quick release there, trying to stay out of the out of the sun so it doesn't cast a shadow. So these fork bags are. 4.1 litres I think. So here's the, I think they're called Kiprun uh, wind pants from Decathlon. Very lightweight and thin layers. And then the only other thing I've got in this uh, in this fork bag here is um, my sleeping pad, which fits in there pretty well. <laughs> Stuck. There you go. So that's the uh, the Thermarest Neo Air Xtherm. So it's basically a winter weight pad. It's pretty heavy, 740 grams, I think. It's the long, wide version. Um, once it gets a bit warmer, then I swap over to uh, a smaller, lighter one, which is the Nemo Tensile. Oh, what else have I got in here? Oh, that was an extra, another Merino base layer there. So. That's all for one uh, one side of the fork bag. Let me just shove this to one side and then I'll grab the other one quickly. Here's the other one. And this has got my Xped Mega Pillow. It's uh, pretty he pretty heavy for a, a camping pillow, something like 200 and, yeah, 200 grams, something like that, but it's uh, it's pretty comfy. Um, I haven't found one that's perfect for me, a pillow. I've gone through a few of them. Um, this is close to being all right. And then I'm not gonna pack it all the way out, but this is a, an enlightened equipment uh, quilt. It's good down to, I think it's 30 degree Fahrenheit, which is, what's that? Zero degrees Celsius, it's supposed to be good down to freezing. I had it down to about, six degrees the other night and I felt some cold spots. Um, this is my first quilt and I think if I was to buy again I'd probably buy a sleeping bag to be quite honest. I've got a winter sleeping bag, a much heavier weight one, um, but I think if I was going to buy like a, a three season quilt again I would buy a three season sleeping bag. But your mileage may vary. So there you go. So just in the top tube here, top tube bag, just had some gloves uh, tucked away, um, a multi-tool, a stands, dart, tubeless plug thing, and some AirPods. In one side of the, so in one stem bag here, I did have a beer in there on the way out, but I just shoved my rain jacket in there. On the way back, the rain jacket was in the, in the saddle bag. And then in the other stem bag on the right hand side, I just had my camera, which I'm using now for recording. Um, a light to wild um, AliExpress job. I haven't used it much, but it's pretty good. Uh, Garmin, obviously. And then someone asked me about um, the packing of, let me just adjust this, the packing of this now what was it? The Durston poles. So here I just shoved a, a bunch of junk in. So I've got my um, ditty bag, so earplugs, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, ibuprofen, some other things. Here's an electronics kit. So I've got a, a tiny pump in there with the lantern. I've got a Nightcore power bank, um, Nightcore headlamp. And that's about it. Uh, poop kit with a trowel and a bidet and some toilet paper. Um, alcohol stove um, and Tokes titanium pot. So I think I showed that in the last video. Maybe I can put a, a photo here, but that's pretty lightweight as well. Fits in there pretty well. And it's not so, it's not so thick, so it fits in the frame bag there. And here's the uh, the Durston poles that somebody was asking about. 
So, I don't know if you can see how much room they take up. It's like the bottom, the bottom few centimetres. I mean, they take up a bit more room than I thought, but it's still, uh, still not so bad. And then what's this yellow thing? Oh, it's just a hip lock, like a zip tie lock thing. Anything else in there? Just a couple of straps. Bottle opener, um, valve, core remover. Down here I've got a bottle, what do you call it, a bottle caddy. This has got my, right now it's got a, just take the lid off here. It's got a buff in there which I didn't use and it's got a bee free dirty water bottle and a bee free water filter. Puts it straight back in. Um, toolbox down there. I think there's a towel in there. There's a spare tube. Um, tire levers. Some other junk. I'll put a, a kit list in the description um below and then the last bag is just this uh, small bar bag i think i got it off amazon i don't really like a bar bag i've got a big one from agu but it's just so fiddly when it's full up to strap back um to strap on there that i didn't bother using it um in summer i don't have anything there but for this trip i had uh, a bit less space so i've got the tent pegs in there bottle for the alcohol for the alcohol stove this is a foil pouch to keep your dehydrated meal warm while it's dehydrating or rehydrating sorry titanium flask which had a little bit of uh, jägermeister in it there's the windscreen for the alcohol stove and then a jacob's milk of chocolate and a spoon and that's about it really so any questions about anything hopefully i find everything now that i've just thrown it all on the floor um any questions about anything let me go let me know in the comments cheers <laughs>